happy new year to everybody. It's 2023. We are still paying back with burpees, push-ups and squats, all the donations that you've given to help with the mission that we're doing here in Bolivia. Today we're in a different city in Bolivia. We're in a special place and with family here, even family from England. So we've got my sister helping us to do the burpees today. So we're so excited to have Naomi with us. So we've got to do 50 burpees, push-ups or squats each. Let's go. So I wanted to show you what we were doing in the late part of 2022. When we couldn't get into the city, there was lots of protests, lots of violence, there was roadblocks, it was all kicking off. We couldn't get in the city and get a lot of the, the materials that we wanted to do other jobs. And so we focused here on the road behind me, the concrete road. We ran it all the way down to the gates and somebody also helped us to pay for that because um, we were able to buy cement. Um, so somebody helped us uh, to get that part done so that we could afford to do it. They helped with the cement and they helped with the stones and they also helped with the labour. So it was a massive blessing, not just for us, but to keep the builders working so that they received, carried on receiving an income and could put food on the plate for their families. So behind me is the road, so we're only going to walk up it now. And uh, you'll see what else we've been doing. So whilst we were putting that down, we filled in the land around it, which is important because if water runs down, it's probably very fast. And here where it joins together is a bit of a drainage system. You can't see it on the video, but there's an inclination and a dip and the water will run off here past these banana trees who will love the water. And as you can see, we've got a huge amount of bananas there. Look at those. And into a little stream that's down here. I've got some bamboo growing there and we've got some lemongrass here. And then that's the little stream. There's not a lot of water at the moment, but that does keep running little by little and it joins the river at the bottom. Along the stream, we've got banana plants that are now establishing themselves very well. We planted them a little while ago. Um, in fact, that big one was dying where it was before. We put them all along here because it's more moist and humid land and they're growing fantastic now. You can see down there, maize. We've been planting a lot of maize. It's very easy to plant. And you uh, once it's sort of um, germinated and it's about a foot tall you then go around with a special tool called NASA Don in Bolivia and you clean the land around them coming alongside the entrance of the property we've got tables and chairs this was a tree that had been fallen I think this was cut down before we came and we made this with a chainsaw one of our builders is particularly skilled with a chainsaw and here he helped us to to make this table and chairs and we've got more of them in various parts of the property we've got stools and a table here this one still looks like it's a bit of work to do and then over here we got more and we've got benches as well benches along there we moved our swings to this tree and they're amazing i really enjoy a swing when i'm feeling stressed and need to chill out I just sit on there and swing I pray and and yeah so that's really coming along we got mosquito netting on the doors so you can open the doors on on the rooms inside and still let air in and out which has been a really big improvement on the building and um, we've got doors on our room we finally moved in open the door there we go that is our room we, we, it's not quite organized because we still got a few a little little leaks in a couple of places coming through the ceiling and that'll only get properly sorted when the main roof is on but we are inside the center we are out of our tent and if i move along here on the outside you can see there's another window gone in there that is our office and homeschool area at the moment 
and this is the inside of it at the moment it's still being organized we did have table and chairs and everything set up in here but we recently had people staying and so we've got a couple of mattresses there so but next to it we've got a room that is going to be a storage room you can see we've got our suitcases and some of our clothes and shoes laid out there we still haven't got proper wardrobes or storage for a lot of our clothes and our belongings but that's really helped a lot and if we go along the corridor next to that room we have a girl's room so I think Annalie is cleaning the sheets at the moment it's quite dark in here because they've got the curtains 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 <laughs> the curtains closed here but um, but they do open a little lot of light in and and to be fair, it helps to keep the room cool. So the girls have got their two beds in there. So they've been able to have their own room for the first time in, wow, nearly two years it's been. And this is our door going into that area. That's, this is the other side. And if we look down the center towards the main sort of area, which will be like the living area and that, we've got tiles that go all the way down to the next room. And this is all of our stuff we've managed to take out of storage under tarpaulings we've still got plastic covering it because sometimes a little bit of water still comes through but this room's tiled it's painted it's got a what will be the dining table in there at the moment and um and and this is a, another bathroom in the future that'll be it's the tiles slightly enter each of those rooms it's a shower and the bathroom and then in the opposite direction going up here uh we've got a room on the left it's a very small room it's a single bedroom and Annalie's dad who's helping us is staying in there at the moment so we haven't quite got all the glass in the door so I'm just peeking through the door <laughs> um, so that's his room and it's got a window on it and then if we come up here this is the end section which those of you who watched any previous episodes would have seen this already and this door leads to where our guests are currently staying with us when they visit um, but in the future this could be either for another family that comes and does mission with us or it could be for a family that we're helping. So down the end, we've got a double room and on the left is a single room again. So that's where we've got to with, with all of the help that we've been getting, all the support, all the money that people have given us. Uh, it's got us out of our tent. It's got windows and doors on and, and glass in the windows and mosquito netting. And uh, even at the top of the door, we've got glass plus mosquito netting so we can open it up and allow for airflow. And it's just been amazing to get out of the tent. Yes, there's a lot of work to do still. We've got to get the main roof on. We've been doing a lot of fundraising for that. Um, but it's just been amazing not being in a tent for the first time in probably nearly two years. A year and eight months, I think, we've been in a tent, something like that. So it's been absolutely amazing. And we want to say thank you so, so much to everyone who's been helping support us, giving financially, praying for us, praying for our safety, uh, contacting us via WhatsApp. We are on WhatsApp. You can call us, you can message us, voice note us. We do love to hear from you. And, um, and also for those coming over to give us a hand. So there's been a few people come over. There's a few people more to come over this year. We're really excited about that. I just want to say thank you so, so much for everybody's help and support. God bless you and help us to get the main roof on. We, we have got a big push, a big start. And we're not far off being able to do probably ne nearly 50% of the way, I think, at the moment. So help us to get that roof on. Um, we're starting the main works for that very, very soon. Uh, well, preliminary works for that very, very soon. There's some preliminary works to do first, and then the roof will go on. Lots of love from us in Bolivia. Bye. So Isa is going to help now because this guy got stuck in the middle of the river that we we're supposed to be crossing, but because there is blockades on the roads, and now we have to have the diversion. And yeah, poor him, he, he got stuck. Hey! Salio! Gracias a Dios. Thank you, Lord. What are we doing, Yeez? We're gonna take bees out. We're gonna take bees out? Really? Yeah, yeah so by we're taking honey. We're gonna take honey. I might need a spatula to take the lid off. Get stuck. They secured that lid on very well. It's moving. It's coming up. Yeah, it's moving. It's coming up. Wow. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's honey. Wow. That's great. 
first of all, I'll take this off. But they don't sting, I say. No, they don't sting. They will, they will stay on the honey. Oh. Honey, he's taking he's the collecting honey. He's collecting the honey. They Look. don't sting, these bees. Look. It's, it's surprising. Oh, wow, look at wow. that. Wow. How it's amazing. beneficial that is. Right. That's from. a good sieve you've got there. Did you look, bring that, that with you? Around. Look at that, some bee. Some of these. Look at the sieve he's got. He's yeah. very good. Some of these are added. Because it's just in the bottom. I'm just wondering if I should have taken Lovely. the top level off. Daddy looks so nice. I should take the top level off. So we've got family here from England and they're going to let the chickens out. Wow, look at all of them. ¿Cómo está, papito? Gracias a Dios, bien y I'm saying, how are you? He says, thank you to God. He's well, thank you. Eh, ¿Qué haces aquí? ¿Usted es pintor? Sí, pintor. Ah, pintor aconsejador? Sí, pintor aconsejador. He's painting with a primer. It's a wood sealant, actually. Uh, this is the doors we're putting on in our, in our owner, in our kitchen. We haven't had door cupboards for a long time. Well, at all. <laughs> and today we are... We are trying to put cupboards on because everything gets covered in dust and it's really uh, difficult to organise things. So we're putting shelves and doors. 